morning. Well, I am all geared up for this hour. Very much looking forward to it. How are you doing, Gary? Are you in a winning mood? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and Happy New Year, everybody yes. in Creating Craftland. How are you all? I hope everyone's had an absolutely amazing break. It's lovely to be back so early in the year. Exactly. And three shows today I've got. Three shows. Um, oh, Gary's going to be over on Extra at 11 o'clock, so I'm sure that you'll join him then. We're going to get ourselves geared up, ready for a game of Genius Square. Absolutely. We've got lots to share with you. We've got very exciting news in the next few moments. We've got things that are back in stock that sold out in a record four minutes yeah, last time you were absolutely. here. Absolutely. So yeah, do jump ahead and have a little look on the website. There's absolutely loads to check out. But it's but the big announcement that's coming is. inside the next five minutes. Now, should we have a game of Genius Square Let's to get the day Genius started? Square. Absolutely. Now, of course, this is one of those games that you love. We were playing it over Christmas. I'm sure you'll have seen Paola on social media playing it over Christmas. Everybody gets involved with Genius Square. So I've got my square ready. You've got your square ready mm -hmm. as well. Absolutely. So should we get set up for a game? Yeah, and then just in case there are any people who've just arrived on planet Earth and have never actually played the Genius Square, welcome. We'd like to, as Earthlings, <laughs> have a lovely <laughs> stay while you're here with us. Uh, let me just explain the Genius Square. The Genius Square is the most brilliant game ever invented in the entire history of the universe, bar none. It was invented by an Algerian mathematician called Salim Bergish about four years ago. And he sent his idea around to all of the big toy companies uh, in the world and they all rejected his idea. And the reason they rejected his idea was because it didn't actually do what he thought it was going to do. Okay. And instead of uh, giving it back to him and saying thank you but no thank you, we decided to make it do what he wanted it Perfect. to do. And the result is this extraordinary game that can be played by absolutely anybody from the age of six upwards uh, and is a real leveller in terms I love of it. age as well. Now I've cleared my board so I am ready. Um, you've got your board obviously, your I have TV got my board. board. My, TV, my TV size board which is uh, much bigger. And also to let you know that for all the Genius Games today, we've got them on a bundle offer as well. Okay. Um, so they're available individually or they're available as part of a bundle with enormous savings. Absolutely, Absolutely huge savings. Yeah. And that is for today only. And um, also as well, I will explain to you as well, dispatch date on this one is going to be the 10th of January. And it's a busy time of year, isn't it? So just to make sure that they are on your way. And of course, you can get hold of the bundle. Details on the screen. You're going to get your Genius Gems, your Square, as well as your Genius Star as well. But we will explain explain everything as the hour progresses. So Absolutely. you've got your, your dice there. Yeah, I've got my dice on my big uh, TV set here and let's roll them first of all. Now okay. again, in case anybody doesn't know what happens when you roll the dice, the dice will fall in one of 62,208 possible combinations. So the chances of you actually playing the same game twice are pretty remote. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out our nine pentomino pieces here, like so. Hayley's taken hers out. I'm ready. ready. I'm doing my lunges. And I'm we're in going the mood to, to win. Our blocker pieces. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to just uh, go through the numbers as we do this because I know there's lots of people who are playing along at they home. They will. They write us and they tell us. Particularly, uh, I had a lovely email from uh, Jonathan and Naomi Dixon. Okay. Who said they're waiting to play along with us this right. morning. Right. So okay. Good morning, Jonathan Challenge accepted. And Naomi. Lovely. So we're we're going to block off here A5 and D2 and B4 and E4, which was in there already, and C6 and B1 and F1. Okay. And we're going to race against each other to get our other nine pentomino shapes to fit inside. And it always works, always works. There is always at right. least one solution. I'm Are you ready? ready? I'm ready. Game number Let's one. Let's go for it. Let's go. Now, there are loads and loads of different combinations with this, though, isn't there, Gavin? Yeah, so we've got the 62,208 possible ways of uh, playing, depending on how the dice fall. And most of them do have uh, multiple solutions, but not all of them by any stretch of the imagination, which is what makes it so much fun, because you never quite know how easy or difficult it's going to be. And it literally takes about 20 seconds, because look, as you can see there, I've done it. You see, simple as that. You've got a bit of an advantage, though. Why do I have an advantage? Well, you've been playing it longer than me. I have. I have. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot. There is nothing I could do what? to deny that. I think that. it must be easier because you've got a larger board there as well. So let me tell you a story. OK. And then let's have a big announcement. Right. So obviously the TV sized version mm -hmm. is much bigger. Yeah. When I say we were inundated, 
uh, by requests from Create and Craft viewers uh, to actually be able to get a copy of the TV sized version. We've never seen anything like it. Okay. To the point that we have actually made it. And if I just reach underneath here. Here we go. There we go. That is it. That bang, is bang, bang. The, in fact, there was an open one there, which I think you we have here. Which Fabulous. I'm there. And if you open this up inside here for the first time, Ever. And you will not find this in any shops. Really? Oh Here we my go. goodness. There it is. The Genius Square XL version. Just to give you a comparison. Just mind your microphone seat. Oh, oh, there sorry, you go. I'm in the way there. <laughs> right, if I just, just, let's just hold up the, oh, uh, the version here. So that you can see just how, there is your small version. And there is your giant version. And actually there are really important reasons why we've done it like this. Because there are a lot of people out there, we know there are a lot of people out there that do have some dexterity okay, issues. Yeah. And so by doing everything in a giant format, it makes it easier for them to pick up things and to move makes them around, etc., etc. Et now in the giant set, you are getting two of everything, exactly the same exactly content the same, just, as oh, you would get yeah, uh, inside large. them. But to give you a comparison of the size of the pieces here, uh, this will really give you a And this a, a is size be brilliant. Here. My mum was over at Christmas, she's 92, yeah. and she did struggle with the smaller pieces, yeah. so the larger pieces you make sense. You put those on top there like yeah. that, you really can see just how much bigger. They're so much easier to grasp. And because this is a launch day for this today, there is an absolutely whopping, humongous, great yeah. discount. So this is normally £29.99. Oh, wow. OK. Today... £22.49p if you're a club member. And that is for two boards, so two people playing at the same absolutely. time. Absolutely. But can I suggest that you bought by with this one? We've got, I think it's three di three sets of the Genius Square, the original size. The original we are size. certainly going to go in for the larger size. I think this is going to be brilliant for those party occasions, maybe you're doing things in the summer, out in the garden. Right, I think I need to gain a bit of an advantage again now. So can I have a go with the larger? You um, can open up the larger one. By the way, I do want to say this. We've made this at the moment as a one-off. Oh, okay. So the, stock, so the stock that we've got, once it runs right. out at the moment, oh, there's okay. no more in manufacture. Because obviously, now obviously, if everybody in the universe decides that they <laughs> want to join one, and they'll all be watching, uh, then we may end up doing more of them. But for the moment, it's just the run of these that we've done, yeah. and it is on a strictly first come first serve basis so if you want a giant genius square particularly if you want a giant genius square with a huge introductory price discount mm -hmm. right. then That's today it. is the day to do it definitely so is. You can break into that. this one you can break so into that maybe you're gonna be working with um, people with dexterity issues, as Gavin mentioned. Absolutely. Maybe you're going to be working with younger children, who yep. sometimes with a smaller person, maybe they will struggle with these. Maybe you're doing it interactively, which many of us do do with our Genius Squares. Um, I've got um, relatives in Australia that we um, often kind of work with a Genius Square um, via, uh, via um, the internet. They were actually over at Christmas, so we had a bit of a mini family That's challenge. Nice. That's nice. I and didn't course, bode too well, I'm not going to lie. Well, you, you, can also, you can also combine sets. So okay. you can have multiple sets uh, together and as many people as you want doing it. It doesn't have to be uh, an even number as well. Right. There are lots of online tournaments and things like that as well. Okay. Roll the dice again. Let's go okay. for it. I'm right, feeling lucky, Gavin. Again. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling happy because yeah. I'm feeling that after all of <laughs> this, company. that's true, but after so many requests, we are so that we've busy. Got, are we? It doesn't we, surprise me. We are me. busy, busy. Lots of people bulk buying this one as well, which makes sense. So 149788. Don't forget that cap P and P means you can add in any in of um, any of the other games in alongside. Decipher is back in stock. We will get to all of the games as the hour progresses, and we have got um, obviously the for you to um, kind of watch the other shows as the day progresses. 11 o'clock over on Craft Extra, and then you're back on the main I'm channel as well. I'm back with Charlie at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. It's all about the Genius Square it is, yeah. today. It um, is, yeah. first come, first off. Over 10% of the stock has gone already. Seriously? Right, let's go for that it. That is awesome. Right, what do we, we throw here? We've got D2. Oh, let me just move these pieces over, because okay. those are mine. I don't yeah, want to get confused with your pieces. Mine. That would be a disaster. <laughs> right, let's bring it together. So. Okay, uh, D2. D2. And A2. A2. And A4. A4. And D4. Yeah. And A6. A6. And A5. A5. Ooh, very A heavy oh, here. Oh, gosh, yeah. And F5. F5. 
Okay. Can I just budge mine over a little bit so we yes, can get them both can. on the camera you at the same see, time? Perfect. I think I'm missing somewhere. Hold on, I've gone uh, wrong somewhere. There we go. You, there there we go. That's there. right. Okay. I'm in now. Right, ready? Okay. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Right. Let's okay. go. Now, honestly, if you haven't got this already, uh, and there's one game you buy in the entire oh, honestly, rest of your life, so much this fun. is the game to buy. And I don't know whether you've noticed any of the reviews that are on the Kate and Craft website, uh, but it's quite extraordinary just uh, how many five-star oh, ratings so many they are. many different people, people play this. love this game. I they love do. this game. And the thing is, it's easy. You don't have to read an instruction leaflet, although instructions are available should you need them. But you don't. You just literally pick up those blockers, get those pieces in place, and away you go. Oh, and you can't even change the I shape. I tell you what, so this is, we've got there. a really tough one here. Oh, right. Yeah. Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, I'm, I'm trying to make myself feel better here at the moment. <laughs> Oh uh, we've goodness. really got a, a, a tricky one here. You can flip and turn them, okay, can't you? Put that here, absolutely. That? They no, go, that's not going to go yeah, they there. All go can that go either there? direction as <gasps> well. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. my goodness. Gavin, what have you done to me? Are you I don't sure know. these Whatever I've done to you, I've done to me as well. <laughs> Oh my goodness I think I like me! No, we really have. Okay, game. but actually, it's quite a good idea for people to be able to see that it is not oh, always as easy as you think it's going to be. Oh, now that's interesting. Oh no, I've hold on, that hold on. Like no, that. no, that, that one needs to there, go in there. Like so. If I put that one down in there, in that oh, direction. Oh, Gavin, there, I think that I need a cup of there, tea. This one in here, and I have actually done it. But that oh, is good. Oh, how close that was is that? Really close. And but look, by the way, let's have a look here. We've done it completely different way. Yeah. We've done oh, a millisecond behind um, you. Actually, not that different. <coughs> We've got to move, move those two across there, oh, and they're at the wasn't bottom looking. part. No, not in the slightest. I wasn't peeking. But that's a good example as to why it's always uh, high good five. To, I think uh, we deserve for that one, uh, Gavin. Uh, uh, absolutely, high there five. <laughs> anyway, our first ever on-screen tournament with the giant Genius Square, the Fabulous. Genius Square XL, which has been put together specifically for Create and Craft viewers. I love so it. Thank so you thank you for asking for it. Mm. Take advantage of it while you've got the opportunity. Details on your screen, 149788. I've got lots more to share with you, but in the meantime, here is Genius Square in a nutshell. <laughs> So there you go. Thank you to you guys for getting in touch with the Happy Puzzle Company. You've got your XL version of the Genius Square. But don't forget the bundle of the original is alongside the Genius Start, which we're going to turn our attention to next. So tell me about this one. So the Genius Start is the second in the series. It is significantly harder than the Genius Square. So the Genius Square is suitable for ages six and up. Okay. And this one is ages eight and up. And there's an awful lot more possibilities there. Right. Uh, more than, I think it's 166,888 I love the fact that you've got that figure puzzles. up there. I have to remember all of these different <laughs> numbers as we go through. And there's a lovely little twist okay. uh, inside this as well. So what you'll notice here, first of all, instead of nine shapes here, we've got 11 shapes here. Okay. And instead of the round blockers, our blockers here are the single white pieces with the oh, black star okay, yeah. in the center. And there are two pieces very deliberately that are the same. And this is where there's a lovely little twist. Now, you've got two, what we'll call half hexagons um, that are like that. And okay. if you turn them over the other side, you'll see that they actually form a golden star. Now, right. there are two ways of playing the game. Okay. Because on 57, roughly 57% of the possible combinations, it's possible to complete the puzzle with the golden star intact. Okay. So you've got a choice that you've got to make. You can either decide to turn it the other way up and split up the two halves so of the hexagon. So is that the easier version? It's an easier version okay. because it's guaranteed of always being possible. Okay. 
or you can take a risk and you can flip it over <coughs> and you'll find that on 57% roughly of the times it is possible to actually build this with the Golden Star complete. The problem is that if you don't know, you're taking a risk. I'd so that so will count. Know. How do you know? Because you can go to thegeniusstar.com okay. and you can put in your coordinates and it will tell you ah, whether okay. or not it is possible with the star. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll take our pieces out here Lovely. and we actually play a game. And with the dice on these, you've got kind of different shapes of the dice Correct. this time. So we've got three octagonal dice and we've got four regular dice. And I don't know whether you can see clearly here but instead of having coordinates we've got let's just hold that up so that you can see that's clearly. It, hold it nice and still oh, for us uh, just point uh, it over there to number uh, four uh, there uh, we you go. can see that that's lovely uh, you can see there's numbers on there that we uh, so turn it that way around so that you block off there like that and because we've got different numbers on the dice because there's an um, eight-sided dice as well in there octagonal dice that's when you multiply up the maths and you've got okay. a lot more 166,888 possible combinations that's quite a lot to play in one day be nice if i could get one possibly <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to roll the dice and then before we do it we're going to put our coordinates okay ross is going to put the coordinates in the gallery into there and we so will nice see what is possible ross. so absolutely we just line these up here first of all so that everybody at home can see exactly what we're doing as well so we have got number two okay and we've got number 47 and we have got oh that's upside down uh and number 41 and number 22 okay and number 15 yeah and there and number 27 27 and your bonus ball <laughs> is number 30. Oh, just my age. Now, if we go on to thegeniusstar.com, if okay. we've still got Okay, now I think there. Ross has um, input all of those uh, numbers, so we've got them all set up there. Clicks on Submit. Yep, click on the Submit button. And Ooh. it says, ah, now, ah, what it says, okay. that, now that means that we can do this with the golden star intact. Right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try and do it with the golden star intact. So it says there that this dice combination has no possible solution. Oh, it says no possible solution. I think where the camera is. That's because there's a it, camera in the in way that I can't see it. I, I'm, okay. I'm watching you, so Gavin. I'm can, watching you. We can't, we can't do it in that case with uh, with this one in there like that. So we have to, oh, that oh, makes my life um, so much easier. Let's have a look at those numbers. Did you put 15 or 18 in, Ross? You put 15 in, yes, that's right, yeah. it is 15. Okay. So yeah. we'll flip these over so we know that this one is only going to be solvable now with these two parts separated. Okay. All right, should we That kind of makes and... me happy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Okay. Okay, let's try and fit these so in now. So those two, they have to be together, do they? They or don't, they don't on, this on this occasion. occasion. No, right. they don't okay, on this occasion. Enough, uh, so I've put them in there like that just to um, get them out of the way first and of And of course you can flip these over as well to get lots of different combinations. You can, and of course because the shapes are so much more varied, uh, it's going to work in a very different way oh, to the to way that the... Oh, uh, you have to think differently, don't you? Yes, you They're not symmetrical, are they, when they you kind of flip them over? They are not symmetrical. So, yeah. No, they are not. Gosh, that's a good word for uh, me to think uh, of. Is, <laughs> especially <laughs> this time like this on a... Well. Uh, straight after a, uh, after a, a nice Oops. long break away. Hold on, I'm not that one out of place. There you go, that one goes in there. This one goes oh, in there, and that is solved. Oh, my goodness. You put me to shame, now, I have to say that it normally takes... Uh, look, we've obviously picked a particularly easy one there. OK. Uh, it's nice of well. you to say that, Gavin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still going. Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> I, so, I think I could take a week and I still wouldn't be there. That, that's can fine. I, have you got a little hacksaw, maybe? Uh, I can't do a hacksaw. OK, fair enough. Um, but we can leave you here for a couple of hours and come back and <laughs> see how you're doing. I'll probably want to do that. that to be um, I love so, it. Yeah, so that is the genius start. It is harder. It is aimed at a slightly uh, higher age range as well. It is on a special offer as well. It is indeed. And it's also part of the bundle. Oh my God, there's so much going on in there this is. program. Now, the bundle obviously has the original size of the Genius Square. So if you are completely new to the Genius Square or maybe you need an extra board, this is a perfect way for you to get hold of them. So the Genius Star, as you've seen there, we've had a little game of ourselves. But again, if you didn't quite catch everything that was going on, here is a little bit more information with regards to this one.
Now, as you can see on your screen, we've got some new products for you. Brand new today, the Genius Square XL, which is flying out. Doesn't surprise me. So glad that you brought this to us, Gavin. And the story behind this is our viewers have asked for it. Yeah, I mean, we were so inundated. And the reason it happened was because obviously I had the giant version made specially for TV, mm -hmm. um, which w was a one-off. It wasn't something that we could um, uh, do for everybody. And so many people asked us to do... Uh, a giant version so we went out and had it manufactured but we've only had one run done at this stage and it is first come first served uh, when they're gone they're gone so be bearing in mind it's launched today we have no yeah. idea well a quarter of the stock well, has gone doesn't surprise me in we've the got three shows for you as well this is the launch hour now obviously you can see the comparison between your original size um as i've got here and the xl which you've all been asking for so there you go you can see the two together they work alongside it it's exactly the same so if you want to work yeah. um, more people some could be using the smaller some could be using the xl um it's kind of designed to make it maybe a little bit easier if you have issues with dexterity but i think it's a brilliant one when you get to the summer and you've got those games, like when you get the, the, the big garden, the big garden games, games, this like is going to be perfect. Jenga and stuff yeah, like that. exactly. That's going to be brilliant. You need to be quick with regards to this one. To be honest, I think this is a perfect size if you're going on holiday and things like that, because of course you can take that on the aeroplane, you yeah. could take it um, to the caravan. I've got some, some of these boards in Mavis, our motorhome as well. We regularly use this. Um, so yeah, they're just perfect for travel. I think it'll be known almost as the travel version um, and uh, yeah, the, the garden version almost, isn't it? But be quick, do not miss out on this one. Also worth mentioning, the dice are also much bigger yes. as well. Yeah. So everything, again, visually, that makes it a lot easier Very much for so. people as well. So we've done the Genius Square. Yeah. We've done the Genius Star. Mm -hmm. Now we need to do the third one in our bundle, which we is the Genius indeed. Gems. We okay. do indeed. Now this takes it up a notch further. Okay, right. So this one is also an eight to adult. This one has more than 10,000 possibilities. Right. And the Genius Gems is using clusters of gems, which right. I hope you can see here nice and clearly. Okay. And what you'll notice about these is that they are double-sided. Okay. Oh, okay. I said they are, yeah. And when you turn them over, whatever is on side A is reversed in side right. B. Right. So if you've got two pink and one blue Got on you. one side if you turn it over that will become two blue and one right, pink yeah <laughs> similarly here one green two yellow flip it over and you've got one yellow and right. two green. Okay. Again, this is always possible. So what's the object of this particular so one? So the object of this is that you have five dice and we'll talk about the dice in a second, but the dice will land when you roll them in colored wells. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give this a good shake. And you get your, your shaker in there as everything well. Everything comes inside. Everything that you need is in there. These should all be in there now. Okay. And what you'll see, and all the dice here, all the white dice are identical. Right. And obviously they've got six different sides, but everything is different here. And when you look at these shapes, this is what you have to recreate in those colours simultaneously at the same time within your grid. Right. So you see the different shapes that we've got there. Okay. These shapes on any angle have to appear simultaneously inside this at the same so time. So if I'm looking at this one, just because obviously yeah, I, I'm on a bit of a delay sometimes, Gavin, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so over here, you've got like your three hexagons there that are blue. So that means I'd have to take two pieces to join them together to replicate that shape. Is that what you mean? That is exactly okay, what I mean. Right. Okay. I understand and that. And so here, for example, I've put, see that shape there? With oh the yeah, green which there. is what I've you've got I've done the there. green one right. in there. Right. Now for the uh, okay. orange one here. Am I taking this that you've started ahead of me, Gavin? I, well, yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 maybe here look there there is the there is the orange shape inside there so you'll have some spare shapes in you here you'll have some right. spare shapes in I there see. as well okay uh, the blue one here if we put that in there like that and then turn this over here so like that, that. there's the blue be shape inside there like that there. i need to work on uh, my pink one and actually i'm going to change this i'm going to put that, that one in there so that is in my that pink way. one so the pink one here we can do like right, yellow this. i need a row of three Across there. there's the pink shape going in there this yellow one I need to get in there next. Oh, the yellow one is a blue. straight, which is going to go in there, Ooh. like so. Ooh, oh, no. I know, because I've still got to get these um, in as well. What have I not done here? I've got the green one in there. I've got right. the oh. orange one in there. Let so, us just hold change on a minute. that to there, like so. So the green one's there. Orange one is there. Blue one is there. Pink one is there. 
yellow one is there and I've got them all in there so all I have to do now is ah, put my other but you see, I've couple got the of shapes shape inside left. there right. like so and that is fine and that is solved. So the green, just to recap, because I obviously have I've done it wrong because I haven't got the gaps there. So you've got your, your kind of zigzag of your green. Your zigzag of the green there. You've got your... There's the orange one there oh, going yes, like that. Oh, yes, little okay. curve, Underneath yeah. that, the there's blue. the blue there. Right. Okay, there's the pink there. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, and there's, there's your the yellow, yellow there, the line. like so. Right. Now, this is with the five white dice. And the five white dice are the easy patterns. You have, there are three devilish dice, okay. which have got harder patterns on them. Fair and enough. there's also this, which is called the dastardly die. Okay. And what you can do is you can mix and match. So this would be the easiest way of doing it. If you were to take out four of these okay. and replace them with the three so uh, these are, devilish. These are kind the of more combinations. They've got at least four. This is evil. Right. <laughs> How many's in that one? There's just, I mean, this, yeah, oh, this is wow. real, But they are all always possible. I love it. There you go. So that's so a genius gem. It's kind of a, a game that's going to grow whether you're working from that kind of basic level right the way through to your advanced as you yeah. can see. It's like three games in one really that it one is. isn't it? Yeah. And so what we can mm. do here is if we take our genius gems and our genius star and if you pass over there we your, go. Uh, your genius there square we go. here. That is your bundle. So this is your bundle and this is a if you were to buy these at normal price individually mm -hmm. uh, you would be looking at 57.97 okay. okay that is a serious and so look at this here uh today your special price is 38.67 well that's it working on the prices that we've got on our website uh, for the three together you are saving nine pounds and 30 pence averages out at what was that 12 pounds 12 pounds and 89 pence per game instead of 19 pounds and 99 pence so you can see what amazing value it is effectively you're buying two and getting one free mm, it's absolute bargains as you can see um, and a brilliant way for you to start the new year maybe you were playing the genius square previously then uh, of course that is the perfect way for you to get hold of um, maybe another board or maybe we've got several boards because quite often we lose boards when we start playing with uh, friends and their um, relatives because they want to take a board home with them so stock up on those can i tell you why we've got several boards okay because every time my kids can't find my set, they just open another one. <laughs> I love it. Now, on the website, you'll find everything that Gavin has bought to us, including Decipher. Because, of course, Decipher was launched in Gavin's last hour, um, but uh, last hour with us, which was prior to Christmas, and that sold out in four minutes. Four. I didn't even get to see that one. No. And it's a brilliant game. Um, so if you did miss out on it last time that Gavin was here, then uh, we will be seeing it in a little while. We've got lots of things to share um, with you. And fortunately, Gavin is here for three hours during the course Did you say of the unfortunately, day. Unfortunately, no, unfortunately. not at all. Fortunately, we love it when you're here. I uh, when I'm here. <laughs> and of course, lots of you taking advantage of the UK TV launch of the Genius Square. Even more so, it is exclusive to us here at Create and Craft. And if you are a club member, you are only looking at twenty-two pounds and forty-nine pence. I will certainly be placing my order for this one. I hope you guys are as well because it's been incredibly busy. Um, so, if you're wanting to get hold this one I've given you the details of that they're up on the screen there everything is on extended delivery so just be aware 10th of January is that dispatch date but of course Gavin and his team will get them out to you sooner if they can do Absolutely. now talking about different variations of games this is an interesting one this is B genius this is the junior genius game okay. and this is suitable for three to eight year olds okay uh, and the the idea is completely the same. The difference being that this is a non-competitive version. So oh, you only okay. get one of everything. Because what we want to do is we want to build up children's confidence. Yes. Their competitiveness can come later in yeah. life because it's going to dominate their lives <laughs> later <laughs> on as just? well. <laughs> so, and we've got much bigger pieces, much chunkier pieces, which are very okay. useful for little hands here as well. So if we take all of those pieces out, the reason it's called Bee Genius is because what we have here is a honeycomb. Okay. And we have our seven bees here. We have our queen bee who always sits in the center. And then we have our six worker bees who are around on the I outside I think that's educational here. as well. <laughs> and because this is for younger children, uh, we have done it in a much more straightforward way. So here you've got six different colored dice. Okay. And they've got the numbers from one to six on so that when we roll them, what you'll see here is, so I just line those up actually so that everybody know it's not a nine it's a six of course it is a six <laughs> so you've got again the multiple numbers so they can appear on more yeah. than one colorway each one though appears on the board so we've got okay. a green number one <coughs> so again this is where the blockers are going yep, in or your workers purple the worker bees purple number one 
a blue number six, which is over there, and an orange number five, which is there, a yellow number three, and a red number two. And again, with these chunky pieces, what we're going to do is we're going to fit them in. Okay. And these are lovely. They lock into place beautifully for little hands and they stay where you want them to be. Now, of course, if I fail miserably at this version... I'll cover you, don't worry. You cover me. <laughs> just in case. I'm just thinking, <laughs> so, so, um, I mean, my kids are all grown up now, but when we were uh, out and about, we'd go out for meals. And you know when you're off and waiting, you place your order, you're waiting for the food. The kids cannot wait. They're getting kind of a, a little bit kind of crazy. They're wanting the food. They need an activity. Something like this in the bag that you take with you is going to keep them very busy and occupied. Yes, I was smiling because we went out for family dinner on on sunday night and the most the, the biggest challenge by a mile is actually getting them to put their phones away yes that's it true drives me out. <laughs> we have no phones rule now but you sit there watching them and they're like this it's Just like <laughs> withdrawal symptoms from doing it that is be genius that is in I there so it. again really important to mention this is a single player version it's designed to build the skills and the confidence of children aged between three it. and eight um wonderful idea brilliant gift and price that way as well 14 pounds and 39p again <coughs> stock up on this one with all those kids parties coming up during the course of the year that is a wonderful gift for any child 092492 but again we've got a little video to explain be genius a little further kids but I kind of like that one myself yeah, I know. <laughs> it's sweet it's sweet I love it now of course don't forget we have got decipher back in stock and I'm very excited to learn about this one because I didn't catch the last show and even if I tuned in five minutes after you started it sold out by so then anyway it was quite extraordinary so uh, I was doing the show with Paola um, and, and we launched this and I, I had what I thought easily was going to be enough stock. Okay. And I started demonstrating it and before we'd even finished demonstrating it, the whole lot was gone. Wow. And I do now, in hindsight, I know exactly why that is. And that is because this is of the same genre of a game that everybody is very familiar with. So if you remember the game Mastermind, which we all played for years and years when we were Back growing the up 80s, with the little yeah. coloured pegs, <coughs> This is that type of game, but it takes it to a whole different level. Okay. So I'm going to explain how this works. Now, one of us is going to play as blue, and okay. one of us is going to play as red. And what we have to do is we have to be the one that cracks the other person's code, oh, first of all. Oh, okay. Now, this is why this is so clever. And I hope that the overhead can, can pick this we up. We have, we've got it perfect. Okay, now this is great. I'm just going to turn these over here just so, so you can see them. So you've got loads of these them. little tiny, they're almost like little pegs. They are, and, they're, they're, and they fit in beautifully. So you've got the numbers um, <coughs> from zero to nine okay. on there. Now what you'll notice about these numbers when they are presented digitally is that they are made up of seven lines. So yes. if we look on here, you can see you've got one, two, three, horizontal and one, oh, two, okay. three, four, vertically. And what the inventor of this, Mark Langley, has done, which is so clever, is that he's realized in the same vein as Mastermind that you can eliminate possible numbers okay. based on guessing where there are lines in the same right. way as you would do with the colored pegs. Okay. So what we're doing here, and I'm going to tilt this slightly to the side, is we're going to turn all of these over. So turn your red ones over. Okay. Just upside down, mm -hmm. like this. Does it matter, uh, just jumble them up so I don't need just to know jumble what's, them what's up. where? Okay, you just okay. jumble them up. And what you're gonna do is now, obviously because we're standing next to each other, uh, it's difficult to, for us do to I need do to it turn away. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna pick five of these randomly. Okay. And I'm going to stand them up here, 
okay and i realize that people can't actually see them but i will turn them around you do the same okay take five of yours and stand okay. them up in so here so i you don't need i don't want you to see these you don't want me to see those okay and whilst uh hayley is doing that i'm going to lift this up and hopefully you can see what the code is i won't there. look at the we'll monitor tilt that down oh hang on did i just drop that one there i'm going to look away i'm not looking at okay. the camera so can you guys can you guys at home see the code that i've got there yeah you should be able to see that that is the code uh, that Hayley is going to try and crack, okay? And, and I've Hayley's done mine as well. as well. So no looking at the screen. No looking at the screen. No looking at the screen. <laughs> so there you go. Back. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, actually, we're going to swap our boards here. This is okay. going to go here. Now, this is how we are going to play. On your turn, we're going to lose those out the way. On your turn, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you are going to try and work out what the number is going to be you have a maximum of three goes on each turn okay so you would for example in fact what we do need to do which we haven't done is we're going to turn these all over oh, so, so these that all need to be right yeah, so that they're blank side up okay Sorry, that was my bad setting it up back, okay. to, back, back to front so they're all going to start off blank there so like i will that. turn these around <coughs> to, these to around. form different numbers nope you're going to turn oh. them around so that they're all upside down oh, okay. okay right like so like this literally so that all the arrows there we'll call these arrows um, <coughs> so that they're all blank okay. on that side there. Let's keep turning it over. And I, I will just say that uh, literally this is me learning how to play this from the, the officer. One of the things I thought was important during the course of the show that is I learn about this game at the same point as you guys at home are. So, uh, yeah, I am literally learning at the same time. So if you've got any questions, incidentally, I don't know what sort of time we've got. Oh, we've got plenty of time for questions. Um, studio at creatingcraft.com <coughs> if you wanted to get involved. And equally so, if you got hold of Decipher before it sold out last time that Gavin was here, have you played it over Christmas? How did you get on? Was it your new favourite from the Happy, um, Happy Puzzle Company? Because to be honest, there's a lot of favourites <coughs> out there. So uh, yeah, it'd be lovely to know your feedback. So, okay, right. on your turn, I am going to basically try and work out okay. what Haley's code is, and Haley is going to try and work out what my code is. So if I turn this away because I don't want any peeking. No peeking over okay. here. But again, just to remind everybody, there is the code there that we're trying to. So again. that's the code that okay. I've got to try and guess. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, that's what you're trying to guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to turn away. And so there we, that we go. See and that is the is code there. for okay. Gavin to yep. try and guess. Gavin, turn back now. Yep. yep, okay. okay. That's cool. Well, it feels like a magic trick. <laughs> does, doesn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do here okay. is I'm going to guess initially and ask so you... So you'll turn them over. I'm going to turn this over and say to you, okay. in the first number, does that line appear? Yes, it does. Okay, it does. So what I now know from this, looking at my grid here, is it cannot be a number one because, because of the way the line there. is ah. so i've eliminated that it cannot be a number two for the same reason it cannot be a number three it cannot be uh no it can be any of those okay right. so i'm now down to those now because i got that right okay i get another go <coughs> up to a maximum of three goes so okay. now i'm going to look at this and i'm now going to ask whether this is here okay does that appear in the number yes it does so that cannot be a zero and it cannot be a seven. Now, okay. on, my last, on my last go here, I can do one of two things. So you've things. narrowed it down to the numbers that are left on your board. Correct. Right. It's got okay. to be one of these numbers. Now, there are a couple of ways I could do it. If I really wanted to take a risk, I could turn this one over. Okay. Because if that gets turned over, if you say to me, no, mm -hmm. it isn't there, it has to be a four. Ah, it's okay. It's as simple as that. Yeah, so, so it's a process there, of elimination. Is it there? Um, no. Oh, it, sorry, yes, yes, sorry. It yes, is it there. Is. I confused so, myself for okay. a minute moment then. So, so now, <laughs> we, leave like that, we leave that as it is. And now so that's your, your turn, turn come to an end. Now, just a reminder what Haley's okay. first number is here. Okay, you can see what Haley's first number is. So now you choose one here okay. as to what you think this is going to be. So <laughs> I am going to say is uh, that one. Yes, in it the is. number yes, okay it is. so now i know it's not a zero yep it's not a number one yep well actually i can take those out can yeah, i take yeah. them out. um it could be two it could be three it could be four could be five could be six could be oh no couldn't be seven. be seven could be eight or nine yeah okay, okay. so now turn the next one right so let's go for um 
is that one there. That one is there. So now I know it's not a four. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a bit short, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, wasn't your, it wasn't your most strategic move. But, but you've got a yes, so you've still got another, you've still got another so, go. So let's have a little look. Um, I am going to say is that one. Yes. There it is. So yes. now I know it's not two. Cannot be a two. Can't be a three. It can't be a three. But it could but it be could one be of the these. So okay. The now back to my one of guessing the uh, the first number here okay. now. So we're going to go on the basis of a. Well, I want to try and get as many goes as I can. Okay. So if I go for this one here and uh, say, is that there? Is that there? Um, yes, it is. It is. So it cannot be a five. Right. Now, if I go, is that there? Um, yes. It is there. So it cannot be a six. Oh, you're getting okay. close. And so what this now tells me is, is, uh, oh, I should have, do you know what? It must be a number eight. How it, do you know it must be a number eight? Because I should have taken the nine out before. I wasn't paying attention oh, properly. Oh, I see. Am I right? It's, you it's, are of course, right. it's a number, it's a number it eight is there. A number now, eight. we leave these like they are now, and we now, obviously, I've got less numbers now. Okay. So we go back to it again, and I'm still, I'm still on a yes, so I've still got one more. So is it still your go? It is still my go for one more thing. I'm going to turn these back over here. So I'm still trying to find my first number, yeah, so I don't want to move anything. First, no, you don't want to move anything at all. Okay. So I'm going to start on the second number now, and ask is that there um it is it is there okay so therefore that cannot be a zero that cannot be a one uh, uh it cannot be a seven okay and you haven't put the other pieces in because you've only got one repeat of each of the numbers i'm guessing yes, so yeah correct. right okay but what i will yeah. say is we're playing this in the in the easy way what can happen is you can play with 10 numbers oh okay and there's a lovely little twist because when you uh put the second row of numbers in mm -hmm. the numbers that you, the arrows that you've turned the first time stay in their position right so if you want if you've got this turned over and you want to know whether a piece is there you have to ask the question in the negative so you would turn that back and you would ask if there is not a line there okay so it sort right of messes Ooh, with your head yeah a little bit. Ooh, so this is okay. very much like mastermind so let's just keep going it's, okay uh, uh, your turn so it's my go now <laughs> yeah. okay and at any point you can decide what your number is going to be so i am going to say is um uh let's have a little look is that one there yes it is so now i know it's not a number five because Correct. that's <laughs> not there so now it's going to be an eight or a nine Correct. so if i go for the bottom bar it could be either mm -hmm. so if i go for the side Oh, no, no, because the sidebar, is the that side the other bucket, sidebar, isn't it? So, do. there we go. Okay, and that is there. So, so therefore because you of know that, I know it's that it a number an eight. eight. Okay, so now we go back to my second one. I'm down to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. And what I want to do at this stage is to try and give myself the biggest chance uh, of making sure that I'm still going. Well, they've all got those there. So, if I actually turn this one over here, is that there? Um, yes, it okay, is. Okay, so it cannot be a number two. And then if I put this one in here, is that there? Um, it is not. It is not there. So there is nothing there, which means it cannot be a number three, cannot be a number five, it cannot be a number nine, it cannot be a number four, so it must be a number six. Um... Or did I mess that up completely? Uh, which one did I just turn? Did uh, I turn that one? You turned that one and I said it wasn't there. Oh, so, oh, okay, right, right. In which case, these come back into play. Uh, and I've got a no there now, so it is now your turn. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. No. Right. So as soon as you get a no, that's it. You lose yeah, control. I can't do four. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, so okay, now right. I'm working on my um, second number because I've got number eight. So I am going to go, is that one there? This one is is there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is there. Wonderful. Um, is that one there? Yes, it is. Right. So, oh, how, oh, how, how have, have I taken all my yeah, pieces out? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You can still work it out from okay, there. Okay, right. So, you know from those two being there, so uh, it, you could know, it can't be a, be a five. So, it could be a one. It could be a seven. Yeah. I know these are completely out of order now. It could be a four, because yeah. again, we're going down that side. Cannot be a two. Um, can't be a two. Um, could be a nine. Can't be a six. Okay, so it's going to be one of those. Okay. It's going to be, no, it could still be a zero. Oh, no, it could still be a three. A double side. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to get then a was. No, I've got myself <laughs> into an absolute pickle here. Um, okay. I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling your second number is a two. Uh, is it, have I still messed this up? 
no. It's, it, um, so should I have turned that over? Because that's that's yes, you oh, should have turned what, it back. That's yeah, what's you, confusing. Yeah, you didn't you mention about that. Yeah, oh, so because that isn't, I have to show you the solution. Yeah. Right, I've got you. Yeah, so sorry. So do you get the idea? As I to do. How we yes. Play? Yeah. So there are lots of different ways of playing. So Just the most keep simple going. way that we're doing it is by eliminating numbers and doing it with a five. Perfect. You can do it with ten numbers. There are other games online. I like this. Uh, you can find as well. Yeah. It's a really, it's Good a really fun. sweet idea. And I have to tell you one story from over the Christmas holidays. Uh, we've got friends of ours who are having building work done and their house is a complete set of rubble at the moment. <laughs> okay. And I went to just have a look at the... Um, uh, at the building work, and as I walked in, two of their kids were sitting there playing Decipher. Oh, how does that make like, you feel when you go and you see people playing with it? makes me feel warm and snuggly. Oh, I love that. We all love a bit of warm and snuggly, don't we? We do. Now, if you want to get hold of yours, then, of course, you can jump onto the website, you can get hold of your Decipher there. You, don't forget, within your Decipher, the same as we've been looking at some of the other boards, you have got more than one board in there, so you can be able to work with multiple players at the same time, two but, um, people at a time. Um, because the beauty is um, it's kind of taking things back right the way back to the original which is of course the genius square but as we mentioned if you joined us prior to this moment you will know that we have had a, a launch a brand new UK launch featuring the original genius square but this time we have gone large we've got the XL version of course your genius square is available in a variety of different sizes now I will mention that Gavin is going to be back at 11 o'clock over on craft extra now if you are new to craft extra Extra. let me introduce you to how you can shop um, you can see those shows so you've got your TV screen at the top you click on that and that will take you to the schedule for um, both channels the main channel create craft and craft extra if you click on that tab that says craft extra that will show you all of the upcoming shows so over there at the moment we have got I think it's a repeat show that's um, on at the moment but um, live as you can see at, um, at uh, 11 o'clock we have Nigel alongside Gavin I know both of the guys looking forward to working together again and and I know that, um, yeah, the XL version, um, yeah, Nigel got very excited about it. We've gone Nigel large. did get very excited get about very excited. it. We can so, play and discuss Eurovision at I the same know, time. I know, I know. We're so going to go back, back to the XL. So should we have another game? I think we've got time, haven't we? Yeah, we have okay. got time. And, and you know what? I was going to just point out again, If you uh, the, the dice are all so much bigger. So you've got, you know, normal size die will be like that and you've got the bigger dice here as well so yeah, anybody who's got, got visual challenges as well yeah <coughs> this so there we go so there. that is your original size which obviously is, is brilliant we've all been working with that for a long time but i know many of you have requested the larger version which is what we've got now so okay, okay. brilliant so let's roll the dice here again let's take my pieces out I'm just not very good at multitasking today. Well, there's a lot going on. Yeah, but it's also <laughs> the fact that I'm a man. I oh, can't do it not as well. at all, not at all. So I need to be able to work out how to load the dishwasher properly, apparently, first, <laughs> oh, before we you. do anything else. At all. <laughs> right, let's roll these dice here, and let's see where we go on the giant one. So lots of people will be playing along They will home. indeed. So I am going to put these down here. I can't believe we've got a tv size version. <laughs> I know, I'm it's so brilliant. excited. Well, our viewers are very excited about it, because right. lots of people are ordering it. Beef. D4, D2, D2, D6, D6, F2, F2, A6, A6, uh, E6, E6, and B2. And B2. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Okay. So again, we've had this made specially, and um, we've got no idea. And the nice thing is, I mean, we're obviously playing it um, uh, against each other, but you don't have to. You could play this by yourself if yes, you, you wanted can. to. Yes, you can. You can time yourself. You can do. More or less anything, with yeah, it, really. Well, that's it. Um, and you can also ship it um, to um, friends and um, play uh, via the the realms of the internet. <gasps> no, 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 Gavin, I've done it. You've done it. Well done. Yes. Well done. Right, well done. I was just waiting for that my moment. That is awesome. Oh, right, one more. <laughs> one more. Let's do it quickly. Okay. Um, now, if you're wanting to take advantage of yours, then please do so. And uh, details are up on your screen as well. I know we mentioned earlier on we've got loads and loads of different reviews with regards to the original Genius Square. Of course, we won't see reviews for the larger version because, of course, it's brand new today. But I'm sure we will start seeing those reviews clocking up as we have with the original if you want to go and check uh, um, that one out. Again, it's exactly the same game. It's exactly the same. You're going to get your two boards, your two sets of blockers, two sets of all of your blocks to go in there as well. So exactly the same. It's just, just gone large. <laughs> right, it's just where are we? humongous. What do we got then, Gavin? Okay, we have got E3. E3. D2. D2. A4, A4, F5, F5, F2, F2, A6, A6, and B1, and B1. Okay, right. 
Okay. Do it. Okay. Here we go. Let us go again. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm looking at this now, and it, I think this is a harder one. Oh, can you tell at this stage already? Well, when you start playing, you start your you start seeing things in sort of consistent patterns. Okay. And sometimes you can see pretty early on what is you're going to try and do. Right. And other times you can't. And this is an example of that because a lot of this is to do with you see here I'm oh right, maybe yeah. I'm going here. No, it's okay. I've done it. And that makes it full one to me. I think you 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 hustling me here, saying that this is a difficult one, and then bang, you're in there. You got the one. <laughs> I got, yeah. I got, I got You got. You I got the one. I it, and I've got spares. <laughs> yeah, yes, you have. Yes, you have. So can we just as well talk about because we've got we've got the XL, which obviously is what everybody wants, mm -hmm. um, and it's selling like absolute crazy. It is. Lots first of people get this one. First serve. Yeah, don't when forget. When they're gone. You're going to have to wait for a long and, time for another and the opportunity. the third of the stock has gone. This has been manufactured with us guys in mind. Yep. You as viewers have been requesting larger version, because obviously when we see Gavin here and he's playing the smaller <laughs> version, he uses his TV board and lots of people have been wanting those. That's where um, this originated from. Um, but of course, we have got the original available for you as well. And the original is available, available in a trio, a three pack. So you've got the original Genius Square. So um, again, the original size might be that you've already got hold of this one you'll certainly want to gift that to somebody if you're wanting to get hold of it you've also got the genius star and the genius um where am i genius star genius square genius gems as well yeah. now incidentally when you're looking on the board on the screen you have got those complete packs so each one of these you've got two boards in when you're looking at this it's Correct. not like one of each yep. you're going to get two boards exactly if you were shopping for them individually but because you're shopping for them all at the same time on our regular prices you're saving nine pounds and thirty pence if you are in the club works out at just 12 pounds and 89 pence per game normally you'd be paying 19.99 normally you'd be paying 18.99 for two of them and 19.99 for one of them so that would be 57.97 so you are saving nearly amount. 20 pounds yes. so effectively it's rather like you're buying two and getting one for free mm, you get one brilliant. of each inside there with the two boards of everything uh, and to be honest with you that is a pretty serious deal. You're not what should we have a game of? We've got probably about, it's about three minutes left. About four minutes left. About four minutes what left. What game should we well, go I'll for next? What, should, should we just have a look at um, Beat the Sequence? Oh, well, quick quick look at that one then because we've kind of not got a huge amount of time. So shall I slide these oh, pieces down? Or should we have down? another Genius Square game? Go on then. Let's do another I'm Genius Square lucky. game. I'm feeling lucky. Because I've got three hours today. So when we, we don't do this You're going to be back, back at to. three o'clock. I'm going to be back with Charlie at three o'clock. And, and do you know something? My first ever show here okay. was with uh, Charlie in right, October in 2018. Day. Oh my goodness. And it's the first time we've done a show there for fifth, together for 51 months. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That just goes to show how many shows I've done. He here should now. be ready then. He should be ready for another it's game my, by it's now. It's my second family here. <laughs> oh, we love it when you're I here. I love being here. Right, and okay. I don't keep it a secret either. <laughs> now, go. I've got my board right, ready. Let's take these out here. Let's take my pieces out here, like so, and take the blockers out here. And so, we have we had, is this again. our fourth game now? So, uh, uh, we've done five games. We've so, done five uh, games. Which I've won four, and you've won one, uh, which is good. But now's your opportunity. I hate people who've got memory. <laughs> Uh, I'm not keeping track. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of know. representing the presenters, so I'm kind of spreading it. So <laughs> it's uh, really interesting. There I'm are, there are one of the other presenters uh, picks up where I've dropped off. <laughs> the, the, of all the presenters, the person who is absolutely lightning at this is Yanis. Oh, he would be. He's he would be. Oh, yes, he, he oh, I don't be. know whether you saw on, at the on social media. Uh, Dan Bancroft's little boy I Barney. Did. Oh, that was amazing! Uh, I loved, playing yesterday. I love Barney's little technique because he literally just kind of moved the blockers to fit everything in. Makes right. me smile because my dog's called Barney. Oh. And I love my dog as much as I'm sure Dan loves Barney. Oh, so I love it. Right. right let's uh, get D4. Those four. D4. F1. F1. A2. A2. C5. C5. D1. D1. A5. A5. And F. Five. And F5. Now, we've only got a couple of minutes left. <coughs> right, you ready? Can we do it? Okay. Let's go for let's it. Let's go. go. Okay, right. that's going to go okay. in there. In, in all seriousness, if you haven't got a Genius Square already and it's the one game you ever buy in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game uh, to buy. It really is. Well, I just love it because you don't need batteries with this one. It's incredibly um, social. People just can't help but actually um, get involved with this particular one. And I'm just saying, Gavin, I've done it again. Oh, look at that. 
Oh Four yeah. Two. Oh Come yeah. on, quick, quickly, quickly. We've got <laughs> we've got one minute and fifty seconds. I played this on the beach in Turkey and as well. Yeah. Oh, did you get bits of sand in it? <laughs> no, we did. Nice. Thank okay, you. let's do this quickly. Check out your baskets because seriously, this is first come, first served right. on the giant ones. Uh, uh, now very over quickly. a third has gone. Don't forget, we are playing the XL version. XL version, you are still going to get your two boards as we mentioned. One minute thirty. Shout out right, those D5, baskets. D five. D five. D six. D six. C one. C one. C2. C2. B4. B4. B6. B6. A6. A6. Right, go for it. Go. Right, okay. Now, whether we will get this game completed or not, I wouldn't like Either to say. Either way, I'm doing the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have won the right to do that, Kevin. I am more than happy for that to happen. Well, uh, But, of course, if I do win this, then maybe. Yeah, oh maybe. No. I know. Hang, Hang on. on a minute. I'm in there. I think What's it's going whoever on there? wins this no. one that's going to oh be Oh, my goodness to... me. <laughs> now, we are running out of time. Yes, I know. We've got the one-minute warning. Oh, my God, that's gone wrong. Oh, oh goodness oh, me. On. No, Hell, pressure, oh, no wait, pressure. in here. No. Put that one in there. Put this one in here. Put this one in here. I'm going to panic. Five, no. two. Oh. Five, two. So, don't get to check it or basket. On the other hand, remember that I am here at 11 o'clock with Nigel. He's uh, on Craft Extra, <laughs> and I in here as well, over there. Uh, and I'm also back at three o'clock with Charlie, the Genius Square XL. Definitely. Uh, and what an amazing hour. Oh, I my first say. hour of the year, Hayley. I and love that's it. been awesome. We have been incredibly busy. But don't forget, it's not just about Excel. It's about <coughs> Decipher being back in stock. I'm going to go and place my order for that one straight away. You've got the bundle as well with the original Genius Square in and the Star and the Gems. Whichever way you're getting hold of your happy um, puzzle company <coughs> games, make sure you are checking out your basket. And I will see you at 11 o'clock with over Nigel on Craft over Extra. on Craft Extra. But now it's menu time. So what's